And now we'll be looking at the uh, carp side of the, of the body, uh, the very front compartment. As you can see down in the bottom, we have a 26 inch deep storage area within this compartment. And at frame rail height above that compartment is a transverse compartment that has uh, three tool bars. Those tool bars are about 60 inches deep, as you can see here. And then the, uh, the long transverse tool board also uh, serves as a SCBA uh, rack. And we'll slide that out. Mount up uh, five complete SCBAs, or you can remove these brackets and uh, use this for additional storage for long tools and railroad jacks and, and such. And then on the back side is an empty space uh, also designed to put brackets for mountain uh, long and heavy tools. These are 1,000 pound sliders. Uh, this particular slide uh, rack will slide out either side of the body. And then the smaller tool boards. designed to come out roughly 80% of the depth of the compartment, uh, two-sided, and these are plywood that allows you to mount tools on either side, and at a later date, remove the aluminum framing, replace the board, and reconfigure the board as necessary uh, as the vehicle and, de and equipment demands uh, grow. Then we come to compartment number two on the curbside. Again, a 26-inch deep cavity in the bottom for storage of, of heavy uh, equipment. And then an extended floor at frame rail height above. Uh, we have one adjustable shelf uh, in this compartment and mounted up in the uh, recess area a 10-4 uh, 240-volt uh, cord reel that uh, provides four dedicated 120 circuits out of the uh, junction box, uh, providing at 200 feet full amperage load to run any kind of heavy uh, electrical loads in the vehicle. And we pan back out and look at the wheelhouse compartment. This is transverse, designed to be configured uh, whatever way the department would like it configured. We can put uh, partitions, uh, transverse tunnels for backboards, uh, stokes baskets, different types of equipment like that, slide out uh, boards, uh, slide out trays, and adjustable shelves. Uh, it could be configured any way the department needs to, for specific mountain requirements. Then the space down in the wheel skirt compartments on the forward section of the wheel skirt. Two compartments. Uh, one uh, is a slide out tray for storage of miscellaneous equipment. In this particular case, we have road flares. Uh, and there you can put flashlights in the bottom for uh, 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 storage box to utilize that space. Half of the rear wheels, another compartment. Uh, space and uh, has a profile box, a place for flashlights, flares, uh, those types of equipment. And then uh, in the bottom section is a pull valve that discharges the speedy dry from the hopper on the roof that we'll look at later. Moving to the compartment behind the uh, wheel skirt compartment is a large uh, compartment that's divided up uh, that has the cascade system up in the top transverse compartment for long backboards, stokes baskets, folded ladders, whatever needs to be carried in that. And then uh, next to the uh, fuel station uh, is eight SCBA spare bottles and an assortment of storage bins, in this case the propoly uh, bins that come with the vehicle. The fuel station is the space saver. It will fill two 4,500 uh, PSI uh, SCBA bottles simultaneously in a full bank cascade system. Walking around to the rear of the vehicle, uh, of course this vehicle has the popular staircase uh, that gives you the OSHA compliant ascent and descent from the roof. And we've utilized all the storage space there to make sure there's no space wasted. Uh, you notice at the very bottom is a flip up step. And this step is uh, uh, stores uh, inside the uh, body. Uh, when it's folded down, it gives you two auxiliary steps. It provides the same exact uh, ascent level and spacing from the ground uh, all the way to the top uh, of the body. And then the first compartment, uh, drop the door down on the hinge door, 
uh, storage, second compartment storage, and the compartment at the very top, storage for ground ladders, 24 foot uh, two section, 14 foot roof ladders, pike poles, etc. Moving on around the vehicle, uh, the rear of uh, the body on the uh, street side, uh, three uh, tool storage uh, trays. These trays uh, slide out. They have, as you can see, uh, dividers that can be adjusted for specific types of tools. You have three of those, and the rating of these sliders are 400 pounds a piece, and that will permit you to even stand on this without deforming and harming the sliding mechanism. And then above that is two adjustable shelves for equipment, and then the access to the valves for the DFT 6,000 psi uh, storage vessels for the cascade system. Again, the wheelhouse skirt, the same as we talked about on the curbside, transverse through, they can be configured, customized, and storage in the aft section of the wheel skirt compartment for the wheel chocks, and in the forward section, uh, divided up for storage of fire extinguishers. The intermediate compartment, just forward of the rear compartment, uh, fixed shelf at frame rail height with the storage cavity below, 26 inches deep, and then one shelf and a 200-foot cord reel uh, in the top of the compartment. And then moving to the very front compartment, uh, that's divided to allow for the uh, slide-out uh, tool board and SCBA rack. We talked about the slide-out this side as well. Storage in the bottom section. And then access uh, for the controls for the uh, circuit breakers, the control for the floodlights, control for the uh, light tower uh, control head and the meters uh, for the PTO generator. Generator is 25,000 watts. And we'll walk around to the front. Two stutter tone air horns. Uh, on the cab roof is a um, LED uh, wheeling uh, light bar. LED M series uh, flashes in the grill, uh, federal siren speaker, 100 watt, two receivers in the bumper, and the cab obviously is still kept. And then a 50 gallon fuel tank, polished aluminum. And as you can see, the overall view. Front axle 12,000 pounds. Uh, it should provide you uh, roughly 12,000 pounds of payload, and that will be uh, provided as a separate documentation for you.